Dr. Jerry, Jew are a man. It is a man's duty to love his wife, even if he is like a farmer. And now, Jerry is saved. By sleeping with other women. Whatever it takes to save a A beautiful union by a, an adulterer and Queen Kong. That, that's great. So, uh, who's on the line now? Hi, Laszlo. This is Janet. I love the show and always wanted to call in. You really offended me to Who is this gutter trap show? Hey, Janice, I share your anxiety. The studio kind of forced him on me. Hey, you like yourself, Victor. And you, Janet, why are you so ugly? Your husband, he's not make you happy. No, he's an idiot and a jerk. But he's probably a good... A lesson in business, my friend. If you have a unique commodity, the world and his wife will try to wrestle it from your grasp, even if they have little understanding as to its true value. SWAT teams have cordoned off the area around my associate in the package. Get over there, pick up the van, and act as a decoy. Keep them busy, and he should make good his escape. It's only for men, but no, it is for women. So, Janet, if her husband goes to New Beginning, she thinks Senor Wonderful are over. And in the extreme case, maybe she comes to work for me. And she did a New Beginning herself. She discovered the excitement of the fashion all for herself. This is Janet's new car. Let it go. Let it go. Now listen, don't try to pimp out my listeners. That is a very ugly word. A travesty. I work miracles, Senor. Not free me. I stay, I give the fashion back. And you better wash yourself, buddy. Because for my people, we take these insults very personally. And then, you no longer Mr. Toshio. You Mr. Hooker of my tongue. Who are your people anyway? I, uh, which exotic location do you come from? I am... I am Latin. <laughs> Latin is a big place there, buddy. We're in Latin. I do not need to listen to these insults. I have pride, I have a calling. Many are poor, but you are chosen, my friend. And I was called and chosen to work a miracle. So, uh, where were you called from, Fernando? From upstate, okay? To have the money now? I'm not real Latin, but I provide real Latin passion. I work the miracles every day. Listen, wives, children, if your husband...
going to believe that guy about the fluoride in the drinking water. Listen, if there's any sane person left in Liberty City that can hear my voice, please call the show right now. This is an SOS going out across the city. All right, let's go over to this line. Hello, caller. You are on the air. Are you sane? Are you a sane caller? Absolutely, Laszlo. Killer bees. King killer bees. Yes, killer bees. Did you know that if the current migration does continue, we will all be dead in three years? Did you want to become a bee supper? I don't. That's why we must act now. Killer bees must be stopped. I wonder why more people are talking about this. I mean, killer bees swarming, it sounds pretty serious. Ah. But the killer bees are nothing compared to ants. You can't kill them. They're like sheep. They're going to take over. All right, thanks, caller. Ants, killer bees, fat people, what's plaguing you? Call now. Chatterbox, hello, you're on the air. Uh, yes. I'd like to say something about these damn people on the train bus. I'm on the way, you on and on into their cell phones. I'm really glad we get to hear about what you're having for dinner. What we should do is turn them up, put them on an island. I am the president of a group called Citizens Raging Against the Phone. Crap? Exactly. Your organization's called crap. What what kind of moral pretty much anything and Miguel seems to think I'm mistreating him still he's revealed the extent to which Catalina fears your quest for revenge she has three death squads dotted around Liberty whose sole job is to hunt you down Act as the bait and get the death squads to follow you to Pike Creek, where some of my men will be waiting for them. Ah! Ah! We suffered an auto, bus, and train accidents, and can even train you to throw yourself in front of a bus and pretend to be injured. Hey, that's why they pay for insurance. Call the law offices of Rankin and Potter and get ready to enjoy a life of luxury. All right, we're back on Chatterbox. Let's uh, go to the chatter line here. Hello, caller. You're on Chatterbox. Roswell, I just wanted to make your viewers aware of this. Okay, now, this is a radio show. We don't have viewers. We have listeners. Uh, okay. Anyway, Laswell, I just wanted to make your viewers aware the first International Puppetry Festival is next month at the fairgrounds, bro. If you're interested in becoming a puppet master, or a ventriloquist, you should definitely come down, dude. It's gonna be totally killer. I wasn't aware that there was much demand for puppet shows these days. Oh, man! Have you been living under a rock, bro? Guys with puppets get chicks. I take my monkey puppet to the park all the time. We play hacky sack together, it's rad. But anyway, dude, at the International Puppetry Festival, we'll be having workshops on finger puppets, too. I love Petunia the Pinky, meet Barry the Thumb. String puppets, glove puppets, dude, it's gonna rock. Okay, thanks. Hope to see you there, Laszlo. Hey, by the way, can you give me that guy Fernando's number? Nah, I'm sorry. Fernando hasn't paid his bill to our ad sales department. But you're someone who has, and they paid us in stacks of old groats and gold guineas. We'll be back after this. Do you live in the boring suburbs but dream of living in a lonely castle on a windswept moor? Do you 
going to trade in your sweatsuit for a hundred pound suit of armor and swap your SUV for a noble stallion? Do you eat microwave dinners? All the while wishing you were roasting a suckling pig at a pagan banquet. Is your next ideal home improvement a moat? Well, get ready, Liberty City! This weekend and every weekend at Liberty City Park, it's the Medieval Millennium Fair. Our band of traveling in Grace Knights and Maidens Orso oh Fair are ready to delight you with tales of the Black Death, witch burnings, and the joys of being a feudal... Forget about air conditioning and modern medicine. We've got all the leeches, spells, and potions you need at the Medieval Millennium Fair. Learn the art of cooking with turnips. Yum yum. Buy genuine reproduction medieval artifacts including maces, double-handed battle swords, and one-size-fits-all chainmail. And this weekend only, pick up an authentic mechanical Lady of the Lake in Excalibur. It's perfect for your garden pond or a swimming pool. And learn how to rid your condo of vermin using a penny whistle and a mysterious prancing German named Hans. The Medieval Millennium Fair, every weekend at Liberty City Park. All right, Liberty City, you are listening to Chatterbox, the show that is the number one reason for the success of the internet. All right, let's take a call. Who's on the line? Clothes. W what about them? Clothes. What are you talking about? Laszlo, clothes. Clothes, Laszlo. I hate them. I just hate them. <laughs> I mean, we're all, we're all about opinions on Chatterbox, which is uh, Liberty City's premier voting station. But why don't you like clothes? I just hate them. They're so constricting. I mean, does the line work clothes? And the line is the king of the jungle. So why can't I, a humble citizen, go naked? Well, I mean, I guess the lion has two distinct advantages over you. One, I mean, it's, as you say, a king, and therefore it can exercise its royal prerogative to not wear clothes. And two, it's a cat, and therefore it doesn't have to. And three, I mean, now that I think about it, if you want to try to dress a lion, you can, but I guess, I guess what we're learning is that lions can be a little unfair at times. I'm naked, Laszlo. I'm naked. I, you know, I really didn't need to know that. Why, Laszlo? Why? Said you? I was born naked on this island, but I'm going to live naked. So there, there's nothing wrong with being naked. It's so invigorating to in the hot leather of a chair or the cool wind from the north on your naked body. I, I, I'm going to have to cut you off. Don't you believe in free speech? Free expression? No, of course you don't. All you believe in is free drinks. I'm naked and there's not a damn thing you can do about it. I'm naked and it's so good. But what about winter? What do you mean? You know, I mean, what about winter? When the wind blows and it's really cold, I mean, you prance about like a ninny waiting for your privates to go blue? I was born naked and I'm gonna die naked. And all shriveled up by the sound of things. Winter was invented by clothing companies. Clothes are unnecessary. They're ugly. Have you ever cooked in the nude? No, uh, look, is this leading anywhere? Because, I mean, we've got a lot of other people waiting to talk about real things here. Nudity is real. Open your eyes. Take off your pants. Come on. Come on, Laszlo. You can be a figurehead for the city naturist. We have more members now for the first time since 1977. Nudity is back. A lot of people are into nudity and really understand the spiritual side. What? Of hanging out with loads of naked chicks? I mean, I see the fun in it, but I just think clothes have distinct advantages, like like not accidentally cooking yourself, or, or when you're working on a building. We're not swingers. It's not about sex. It's about being one with the world. All right, dude. Groovy. Hug a rainbow. It's time for a public service announcement from Donald Love. Hello, I'm Donald Love. Under my guidance, Love Media has emerged as the fastest-growing U.S.-run media conglomerate of the past five years. With newspapers, television, and radio stations across the U.S. and the free world, alongside a wide array of industrial and technology interests, we at Love Media ensure you get the truth behind the story every time. From films to dog food, from radio to pop music, you can be sure of independent quality broadcasting every time you tune in. That's why we're the fastest-growing cable supplier and health insurance provider in the Northeast and why our new satellite in China is something all Americans can be proud of. Here at Love Media, we are proud of what we have done to help America and to help hard-working Americans relax. For investment opportunities or information about our new interactive television service, please go to www.lovemedia.tv. Ooh, that makes me feel all warm and fuzzy. All right, let's go to line eight. Hello, caller. Bob, Bob from Pine Creek. Hey, uh, what's up, Bob from Pine Creek? Well, I've been listening to this show since all the going on about problems in school. Gum, people showing disrespect to teachers, drugs. Schools are breeding grounds for crime, ain't they? I guess it seems that way. Well, I got a real simple solution. Shut them down. Shut down the schools, shut down the problems. No more dead teachers, no more angry students. 
Well, but you don't think... No, I don't. Never. Now listen to me. It makes perfect sense. Kids these days, they complain a lot. You know what? Well, not mine, Johnny. No, sir. Uh-uh. I've learned to use the value of good, hard work. Learning him good. If the creep taught him how to clean the bathroom, you left so much one hair on the sofa that was off the bed with no dinner. You know what? He went to bed a hungry only 20, maybe 30 times. He learned. Now, he brings his mother lunch to bed every day so she can sleep in. Let me tell you, everyone who has their kids serving up food. He even cooks for the whole family. These days, he's getting too big to be chimney, so now he's a paralegal breaking a puppy.